chat gpt correctly diagnosed a 4 year old's mysterious disease after 17 doctors failed what this is a big news in the field of healthcare industry now does this mean ai is better than doctors does this mean ai can replace doctors or is ai a threat to healthcare industry well let's find out and for that let's dive in first things first let us understand what exactly happened in this case so this was a kid from us is a kid from us named alex so his mother noticed that he used to have gigantic meltdowns right from the birth he used to cry a lot on a daily basis and he used to be relieved only when he was given a drug named ibuprofen which is a painkiller now months went by covid hit and then she noticed that the child has started to eat and chew and during this again he used to cry be in a lot of pain and most of the time was exhausted so she took him to a dentist who ruled out on the possible diagnosis and further referred him to an orthodontist who said that the airway is a bit small and they started treatment for the same things seemed to be better but soon his mother noticed that he's not growing tall so she took him to a pediatrician who said that this might be a stunted growth due to after covid or post covid effect time went by again he started walking and she noticed that he's dragging his left feet so she took him to a physiotherapist next he started developing headaches so she took him to a neurologist who diagnosed him as a case of migraine time and again they shifted from doctor to doctor to doctor and yet couldn't come to a conclusive diagnosis they always met a dead end frustrated and tired this woman sought help from chat gpt now she fed every information from every symptom to every mri report to every investigation report to chat gpt and boom it came up with a diagnosis known as the tethered cord syndrome or tcs she was shocked she went to a neurosurgeon who confirmed this diagnosis for her now why did i tell you this long story when there are three takeaways from here Number 1 every doctor played their best role to look out for diagnosis in their specialty. Number 2 what 17 doctors couldn't achieve in 3 years chat gpt did it in minutes. Number 3 ai won over humans and especially in this case it beat doctors in diagnosing a disease. So now let's answer the three questions logically here. Number 1 is ai better than doctors? Well my answer is yes but listen up first. AI or chat GPT as in this case is nothing but a vast pool of knowledge and information. So at any point of time theoretically it can act as a doctor of any specialty or even multiple specialties at a time. What happened in this case is chat GPT correlated all the information from all the specialties and came up with a diagnosis which proved to be 100% accurate. 17 doctors tried their best to come up to a diagnosis pertaining to their specialty only. but the diagnosis eluded their expertise why because of two reasons number one is rarity of the condition and number two is limitation of the human mind so for this work ai definitely deserves a pat on the back the second question can ai replace doctors when the answer is a big no why number one it can give false information number two it cannot take into account individuals idiosyncratic circumstances when it comes to human health because ai works on data sets it does not work on clinical expertise number 3 the information or the results cannot be 100% reliable even in this case the diagnosis had to be confirmed by a neurosurgeon number 4 ai lacks human touch and empathy now some of you might argue that diagnosis is more important than all this well let me give you a live example when ai can screw up diagnosis as well so i show you an example where i went on chat gpt and uh, entered some symptoms hypothetically and let's see what it had to say so i said i am having severe eye pain as you can see and redness act as an ophthalmologist and tell me the diagnosis first of all it said i am not a doctor which is true and responsible on its part but i can offer some general information now it said it can be due to as simple as eye strain or more serious issues like conjunctivitis corneal abrasion or even glaucoma then i told him give me a list of diagnoses that can be relevant to my condition again he said i am not a doctor and it gave me a list of potential diagnoses like conjunctivitis corneal abrasion foreign body eye allergies etc etc now it's very important to pinpoint a particular diagnosis which is the work of only an eye surgeon or an ophthalmologist 
because in some cases the treatments are diametrically opposite and a treatment can also harm you if gone wrong so that's why ai is not always the answer and it will never ever replace doctors the final question is ai a threat to the healthcare industry well as of now the answer is no in fact it can prove as a boon or a blessing for the healthcare industry as well as the patients how let me explain every clinician doctor or surgeon are humans in the end and they have the limitations on their mind at times they might not be able to expand their knowledge to an extent where they can clinch a diagnosis at an early stage now this is where artificial intelligence comes in and helps expand the horizon wider farther and faster so that you clinch the diagnosis at the earliest this in turn and indirectly will improve the patient care as well but before artificial intelligence is completely inculcated into the healthcare system it has to undergo a lot of trials testing research modifications governance as well as regulations so that we make sure it causes no harm to humanity in the long run well i definitely believe that ai will transform the world of healthcare in the near future kyunki ye to bas shuruaat hai so what are your thoughts on ai and healthcare please put down in the comment section below let's gain some perspectives and until next time please like share subscribe share this video and don't forget to push the bell icon so see you around